Hey there, folks. Good morning. Welcome to another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host. Today, we're going to talk about why you should not try to be successful. Is that right? Yeah, I think that's right. Stick around. We'll be back to get started in just a second. Hey everybody, good morning. Thanks for joining me. Hey, listen, if you are watching live or watching on the replay, either way, do what uh, Joe and Keith just did. Drop a comment down there. Say hi. Let me know that you are here and watching. That's always encouraging to me. And it sets you up so that Google can, or Google, Facebook can keep you plugged into the conversations that go on here after the show is over. So, this week we're talking about uh, value, I think, is the theme that we are chasing this week. And the title today is why you should stop trying to be successful, or maybe why you should not try to be successful. I think stop. I like stop better. <clears throat> Might have to go back and change that. So, you know, it it's funny because we see, it's almost like your eyes. And, and I always get this messed up, the rods and cones that are in your eyes. I know they're in there, but I always get them messed up at night. Your night vision, right, the part of your eye that helps you see night vision is off to the side. So it's actually easier for you to see something at night if you don't look directly at it. So if I think what I want to see is right here, I should look over here just a little bit and try to catch it out of the corner of my eye. Sometimes success is the same way. When we focus so intently on it, uh, and I was just listening to another video about this this morning. That, well, that wasn't even intentional. That just kind of serendipitously happened. When we focus so intently on it, sometimes we come bl become blinded to the other things that are either right there or that need our attention or that are maybe even more important than this thing that we have decided is success and that we are chasing. So what I want to encourage you with today is actually it, the, the thought comes from a quote. And um, one of my favorite quotes <clears throat> from one of the favorite people I like to quote, Einstein. And he said, the quote for today is, Strive not to be a success, but rather to be of value. You know, yesterday we were talking about value, and if we if we think about, um, and I don't have it on this monitor, it's on my other monitor, but I've got a little sticky there that says, how can I create more value for the people around me today? Ask yourself that question. You know, I talk about starting the day <coughs> with uh, an attitude of gratitude. Also think about how you're going to create value for other people, and it has to include that. How do I create value for other people today? If you focus on that, and this is kind of the whole catching success out of the corner of your eye thing, if you focus on creating value for other people, the success is going to come. Right? So here's an example. One of the things that we do, how can I, um, what can I sell to make more money? How can I create more revenue in the business? How can I get more customers? And, and we focus so intently on making more revenue or finding a new product that we don't focus on creating value. Let's say that you're even selling something else. Hey, you know, you're in, a, in, a, in an employee or a contractor role. You're selling something else, selling something for someone else, right? If you're selling features and price, you're not selling value. Think about that for just a minute. If you're not, if you are selling features or price, you're not selling value. That, but, but, and why is that? I mean, it's a really simple answer. Because the buyer, I, the buyer, get to decide what I think is valuable. So if you're not focused on me and what I consider valuable, you're just you're just regurgitating a list of things that describe this product or service. But if you're thinking about me and how you can create value for me, I mean, 
Well, what's so this is a pen. I usually use a pencil for this example, but you know, it's the old uh, college public speaking class, right? You pull a pencil out of a bag and you have to make a compelling ad hoc uh, or extemporaneous presentation about a pencil <coughs> or sell me the pencil, right? Most people go straight to the features. So, uh, it's black, it's got you know the little retractable thing, it's got the pocket clip so you can clip it on your pocket. What if I don't write anything? Or, or you know, I mean, it's thinking about how I'm going to use it, how I'm going to get value from it. That's what you have to focus on. If you can focus on how you create value for other people, everything else will come. Right? Focus on creating value for other people. There, that's seven times I've said it in seven minutes. So that must be uh, that must be sufficient. Hey, thank you for joining me this morning. I appreciate that. It is Tuesday. That means radio show today, but not a live broadcast. Um, I will put the video up later today, but this one is pre-recorded. It's a good one. Um, this one, hang on just a second, is uh, with <clears throat> Amy Eskridge Pettigrew and John Seacrest, and we're talking about angel funding for your business. If you have, if you don't know what it is, check it out. If you think uh, angel funding is something that is not important to you or your business, still check it out. You might even be an angel investor and didn't even know it. Or you might qualify to be one. That's one of the things that we spend a lot of time talking about uh, on the show. We recorded that. John was in from out of town, so we got him in the studio last Friday, recorded that. You can listen to that live, WTKIRadio.com. Uh, I think the tune-in stream, I don't know if the tune-in stream is working or not. WTKIRadio.com, and I'll put the video up of that conversation later today. All right, thanks so much for joining me. I appreciate it. I'll be back again here tomorrow, another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. Till then, you have a terrific Tuesday. Talk to you later.